Hey, this is ProX Garage Door Repair in Oklahoma City. I'm gonna go over all the components of a garage door. That way you know what they're called if you need to refer to them or something. So we'll just start here at the top. Up here, this round thing, it looks like this. This is called a drum. So the drum is up there. And what's wound around the drum is this cable right here called a lift cable. Right here you have your tube shaft or tube or torsion tube. This leads you to your spring. In this case, is, there's two springs up there. One spring here, one spring here. In between them is a bracket, sometimes called a spring anchor bracket or a center support bracket. In between the springs is a part that looks like this, either a bushing that looks like this, it's plastic, or there might be this made of steel called a steel bearing. That's sitting in between. Whether there's one or two springs, there's only one of these sitting right about there. Or it might be one like that. Moving across still, here's the other spring. The screws that are tightening the spring down on the, on the tube shaft, they're called set screws. We'll keep moving this way. Same setup on this side, you have your drum up there. Behind the drum, over here, that plate, it's called an end bearing plate, it sits there like this. You can see it's right about there. Okay, and then you have obviously the same lift cable right here. This lift cable runs all the way down, attached to your bottom bracket. So this is where all the weight is on that, on that cable. So you don't want to remove this because it will pop the, that cable up like crazy. Bottom bracket with a roller. Moving up here, you have your number one hinge, number two hinge, number three hinge, if you have an eight foot door, you'll have a number four hinge and then your uh, top bracket. The way you can tell what number your hinge is is normally they'll have a little number pressed into them. So here's a number one hinge. This one says number three. And the difference in numbers is you see how this one looks different. It just, it positions the roller according to where it should be based on the travel of the door. So this looks different than that. This looks different than number two hinge. When you get to the number one hinge, it looks the same. Number two and three look similar, so you just have to read the number. Those are your hinges. Let's move across here. This metal piece right here is called a strut. You'll normally see at least one across the top of the garage door. If your door is heavy or a panel's buckling, you'll see a second or third one running across. Uh, I usually connect them to the bottom screw of a bracket. Uh, running across or up here if it needs to be. So usually it's depending on where the, the sag is happening or where you need the, the support. So that's called a strut. It's one solid piece going across. Let's keep going this way. This thing is called a J-arm. This one probably pushed in a little too much. It should be angled a little better like that. But you've got this J-arm, which is connected to your trolley on your operator. Here's an emergency pull cord. You have your trolley up there, or sometimes called a, a carriage, and it's attached to your rail. Sometimes it's one solid piece, sometimes it's in sections. That's your rail heading over here. It's connected to what people usually call your opener, but we call the operator. Operator. There we have some angle iron supporting it. Coming back over here. All right, right here you have this thing which is connecting the J-arm to the door. It's called the operator bracket. You, can, you might either see a small one like that, or sometimes it's a big piece like this. So it's there like that if, if needed. If that thing was to ever pop out, you'd probably replace it with a bigger piece like this, which will have a little more strength to it. And <clears throat> so same setup over here. You have your sensor, uh, your safety sensor on the bottom. On the very, very bottom, you can't see it, is a weather sealing, your weather seal on the bottom of the door. Sometimes there's a piece holding that seal. It's called a, a seal retainer bracket. And, and then obviously you have your tracks. This track that sits on the bottom here is called a vertical track. That's a straight up and down track, a vertical track. This one curved and heading over this way is called a horizontal track. Okay. And up here, this piece right here. So we had your end bearing plate that I showed you uh, 
I showed you on the other side, this end bearing plate is connected to, this is connected to your track. This is your horizontal track, it's all one piece. Horizontal track goes right into that which connects you to this thing, which is called a flag bracket. So this setup is a flag bracket connected to the wall, flag bracket, end bearing plate, which is connected to the wall and to this, which is the uh, angle coming off of the angle iron coming off of the horizontal track. Okay, well, I think I covered everything. Hopefully I did. I don't think I missed anything. Uh, if I did, leave me a comment. I'll tell you what, what I missed. Sorry about that if I did. But that's, those are the parts of the garage door. And uh, thanks for watching. Oh, if you like this video, just like it. If you, if you want to help out, you, you could subscribe. That, that'd be cool if you could subscribe. All right, thanks a lot.